going to talk to you today a bit of why retail is important within the barbershop. Now, I find that if you have a large stock of retail, like we carry within the shop, it helps promote the styles that you do within the shop as well. So, say for instance, you've got your clients in the chair and they want to know what the best product is for them, then you are able to show them and use on that style what you feel is best. Now, with being in the profession, you know what's best for certain styles and what will help with them hair types. Now, if you just style a client and then send them out the door without showing them a product or out styling their hair, they will just go onto the high street and buy anything and then they will be buying something that may not be good for their hair. Now, when they are in the shop, they want to achieve their best look and you want to achieve their best look on them as well. So by using the product, showing them the product, the chances are they are going to buy that product from you. Then if they like that product, get on with that product, they're going to come back to you because they know you're professional with it and they're going to keep purchasing from you. They will also tell their mates like, oh, I got this great product from the shop. Uh, you need to go down to that shop and they'll be able to sort you out. Uh, another reason for retail in the shop is it gives it more of a professional look as well. If you're just using any old stuff off the high street on people's hair, they just know you're just using anything on the hair to style it. Whereas if you've got an actual range within your salon or barber shop, they will know that you've gone out of your way to find a product that you feel is right for you to use. They'll know a professional product and you're a professional barber using them products. Now, when you're buying retail for your shop, make sure you have a decent budget to stock up the shelves because having a few on a shelf isn't as eye-catching as having a lot on a shelf. Now, I got told a while back that if you've only got 10 products on a shelf, people won't notice them 10 products on a shelf. Whereas if you've got 100 products on a shelf, they will notice the products, they'll be drawn to them and then more chance of buying from you on that side of things. Uh, also, make sure the displays are bright, vibrant, really displayed well, so then it draws people to them again. Uh, have knowledge of your products as well, so when you are selling, you can actually sell what you are selling. So, say for instance, you pick up a gel and they go, oh, what does this one do? And you go, oh, you can mess up your hair a little bit of it, you put a bit of spike in it, Whereas if you can turn around and go, oh, that's a wet hold, that's a dry hold, it's a matte clay, uh, other different things like the tonics, explain what a tonic is for, uh, explain all the different aspects of the certain types of gels for different types of hair. And then they will turn around and go, oh, right, I'll have one of them, one of them. And you're increasing your sale again for your shop. Now, having the retail in your shop as well, makes more money for you personally. Although you've got the outlay of the products to start with, you've got obviously the commission on top of them that although you're doing the haircut and earning from that, you can do a haircut and a product, haircut and a product, and you're basically doubling and tripling your money throughout the week by selling products to people. Now, that is going to grow your business, allowing you to get more retail in. I mean, we started off with just the hair products, and now we're going to a shaving range as well. We sell all the different size brushes, different types of brushes, synthetic, badger hair, just this, that and the other when it comes to the shaving range. We've got different companies for the shaving products. We've got Rusal is our main product for the hair, but we have got a couple of other products as well, just for a lower end scale product. So if a kid comes in and the parents don't want to spend the money on the Rusal as yet, they will get them a smaller product, see if the kid actually starts using it to do the hair, and then they'll go, oh right, the kid uses the product, we will then go for a better product to use for them. That's the product the barber uses, so that's the product we will buy. So it's all about how to hit your audience, how to hit your clientele, and giving the knowledge that you know on the products that you sell to them, so then they purchase from you. Now. In retail, it's a bit more difficult in some aspects to find the right ones for you, but it's just a case of 
get in touch with the company, see if they do an introductory salon pack or something like that. That's what I did again with Ruzel. I got the intro pack, used their products, realised I liked it. This was going back in an old barbershop I used to work at. And then when I opened my own, I was like, Ruzel is a product I want to stock. And I have stocked, I've used many, many other products before, but I always go back to Ruzel knowing it's the best product I've used on the market. Uh, so shop around, have a look, really look into retail. Any more comments, any more advice even, uh, hit a comment down below. I'll try and help you with that. But really do shop around to do retail in your shop. It's one of the best things you could do and it will make your salon grow or barbershop grow a lot more uh, for the knowledge and the retail side of things that you need. So thank you for watching and hopefully see you on the next video. Cheers.